Hello, friends, and welcome to the extension lesson of the clock lesson. So yesterday we made a clock, and today I'm going to work with my clock to talk about the hours. So let's bring you down here. I have the clock that we made yesterday, and I uh, made a couple arrows. Now, your arrows are black, but my arrows are going to be different because I want you to see the difference, okay? My short arrow is red, and my long arrow is blue. And we're going to talk about the hours, okay? So I'm going to put this one here, and maybe we should talk about these for a second. The hour is always the red one on my clock here, and the minutes is the blue. We're going to talk about minutes next week. This week, we're going to talk about hours, so we're going to use this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. So you have the clock that you already have, and also located in the Google Docs is one of these guys here. Okay, so we are basically going to go through. There's 12 clocks, and we are going to label them as such. Starting with, we're going to start with one o'clock. So when I see a clock and I see one o'clock, one o'clock looks like this. The long arrow goes to the 12 and the short arrow goes to one and it's one o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock. And finally, twelve o'clock. So let's start all over again with one o'clock. I'm gonna place it on one o'clock. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna scoot it over so maybe you can see both of the things I'm doing here. Let's put this here. And on this very top one here, I'm, I have my, you could do pencils, but I'm gonna do markers because they're better to be seen. So I have a red pen or a red marker and a blue marker. You can use colored pencils or even crayons if you want. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put it in my hand, right, the proper way. Venture, just like this. I'm gonna make an arrow that points to 12 o'clock. I'm gonna make a little shorter arrow that's red that points to one one o'clock and I'm even will take my pencil and I will write the number one at the top in the little box because that is one o'clock one o'clock right there now we'll move to the next one two o'clock right two o'clock looks like this we'll go back over here we will make a blue arrow to the top and a red arrow to the one o'clock. One o'clock. <laughs> but we're not doing one o'clock. We're doing two o'clock. Two o'clock. And I will write the number two. The next one we will do is three o'clock. Three o'clock. Show what three o'clock looks like. Three o'clock. Let's keep going. Four. Four. Small arrow to the four. The big arrow to the twelve. Four o'clock. 
Next week, we'll, we'll talk about what we do at these times. Five o'clock. You noticing the pattern? There's one of them that stays the same, doesn't it? o'clock is when I get out of bed in the morning. I wonder what time you get out of bed in the morning. I'm going to move this over so we can continue. But you can see the stuff. Seven o'clock is next. Seven o'clock might be when time you wake up in the morning. I think that's what time my son Alexander wakes up in the morning. Two arrow and a little arrow. Seven o'clock. Next is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning. That's about the time that we all have breakfast. I wonder what you do at eight o'clock in the morning. Nine o'clock. I know it's been a while, but nine o'clock is what time we used to start school, isn't it? Nine o'clock. I don't know about you, I miss going to school. And then we have 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock might be a time that we would have a snack or we would be working hard at on one of our works. Ten o'clock and eleven o'clock. Be finishing up one of our lessons. Eleven o'clock. We'd be starting to think about what we would do next. And very finally, but last but not least, is twelve o'clock, and that's what time um, the half-day children would go home. And the full day children would eat their lunch and they would be thinking about recess, right? Playing with their friends. 12 o'clock. And there we have it. We forgot one last thing though. We write our name at the top. We can even write the date. If you're feeling so inclined, we are talking about time. And there we have it, our clock lesson. So here we have it. I made a little mistake, I crossed it out, and that's okay to make mistakes, isn't it? That's how we learn. So there's our clock lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed that little extension lesson. Give us some practice to see and talk about times. And maybe next week we can talk about what your day looks like with those times, okay? So thank you again for joining me. We'll see you later. Bye.